people want to know, what is it that Byrelease does between all these quests? Well, he's usually letting viewers make him suffer at Barrows on stream with channel point rewards, like making me kick a Barrows brother to death. Give it all you got. No, oh, not that much. Just die. Oh, just die, you stupid idiot. Just die now. So close. This is so dumb. We're getting there. Yes. Oh my god, so dumb. So this is our Barrows log. Might be lucky enough to get our fifth Torag's hammers. Maybe maybe our fifth Carol's crossbow. I don't know. I I really, really want more Torag's hammers. You know what, Derok? I'll fight you, man. I don't care. You're not gonna hit anything. You haven't hit a fucking number in your life, Derok. You want some help, Derok? I'll take my clothes off for you. Go ahead. Oh, you still can't hit, Derok? So sad. Still, Derok? I took my armor off for you. So sad. You fell off. I'm taking off my, my chest plate, because next time I wear anything, it's going to be a Carol's top. Well, looks like 500's not getting its own song. For the next quest, we're going to need 20% Shazian favor, so I'm headed over to the Shazian camp, and I'm going to be helping injured soldiers or something. I still fumble my fingers around when trying to put a band-aid on, but I guess I'll contribute somehow. Hey, uh, I'm here to help out with the soldiers outside. That is somebody's arm on the table. Shh. Oh, sorry. A phone call or something? Do we have phones yet? It's like medieval times. New legends will be born. Shouldn't you be outside helping? There's no time for outside when I'm raising a new champion. I'm pretty sure there's people dying outside. You should probably check on them. Like, whatever that is, that doesn't sound good. We should go check. Are you even listening to me? What are you doing? I'm playing Bloodline Heroes of Lithis. It's a card-based Western fantasy RPG with 3D realistic graphics. I'm collecting champions, building kingdoms, and making babies with other races. Making babies? We're combining bloodlines to become more powerful. So you're playing a video game where you make different species bang each other and make babies instead of doing your job? God, that's not it at all. I'm marrying different bloodlines until I find a unique combination of five abilities out of the dozens of traits that fit my playstyle. What is happening? Look at this champion, Lycan. There's a werewolves, Karg, Dragonborn. You can get the Karg clan for free by logging in, by the way. And you can change genders of companions freely. Just thought I'd mention that. You level up. You unlock more for free. The higher intimacy level between the companions, the more powerful your baby is. Why do you like this? Champions can make babies too. That gives you hybrid heirs like a Dragonborn demigod. I think I should go help those people. You can play this for free on iOS or Android. Use the gift code in the description to get a champion token and 100 diamonds. Whoa, did you just do an ad? Scan the QR code. It's still right there. Are you even the head nurse? Not at all. Dude, I'm leaving. The link is in the description. Yeah, so update. Found the real nurse. I don't know what all that was about. I've just got to take a bunch of these med packs and deliver them to the soldiers in these tents. I didn't ask what was inside of these little packs, but all the soldiers seem to like them a little too much, so I'm guessing it's just uh, an insane amount of drugs. I'm going in circles and handing them the same boxes over and over. They can't get enough. Relapse over here. They're screaming for more after 30 seconds. Well, there's 20%. Gaining favor by turning the wounded into opium addicts. None of them will see straight ever again, but at least we can start the quest. Today we're going to Shazy and to continue the Karen storyline. April 19th, 2018, Quest 137, Tale of the Righteous. I'm headed over to the Cloak and Stagger Inn to speak to Phileas. Good day. What brings you here? Who are you? I come into your place, I ask who you are. I pick up on every social cue also. Phileas is a retired Shazian soldier. He's super addicted to opium for some strange... Unknown reason. I asked if he needed any help with anything, since I have that much spare time. Now, this is gonna be a shit ton of lore, so I'll do my best to explain all of this like your little child babies. But if you want to know more lore of Karend, I have a video explaining it all in vivid detail. I have no idea if any of it is actually correct, but it won Jagex's competition, so it's gotta have some credibility. Phileas is telling me about his ancestor, Magnus Ramor. He was an explorer guy. One day, King Shazian the Seventh asked his ancestor to explore Mount Quidamortem. Apparently, the party never returned and were thought to be dead. Recently, Phileas got a package in the mail with a journal inside that apparently belonged to that bad boy, King Shazy in the Seventh. It talked about a bunch of scary shit like experiments, mass-producing creatures, all taking place on Mount Quidamortem. And all of this is creeping Phileas out a little bit, because the journal was written after that expedition, which means the expedition was probably successful, but King Shazy murdered them to keep it all a secret. So we're gonna head to the Archaeus Library to see if one of those floating fellas knows about this little expedition. So it sounds like King Shazy in the Seventh was 
a notoriously violent man. After he died, he was succeeded by Zarek, and the tinfoil hats of Karend think Zarek was King Shazian VII, but way scarier. Also just learned that Shazian constructed a prison in the Tower of Magic around the same time of the expedition, which happens to be where Phileas got that journal from. So we're gonna go check that out. Here we are, and crab crystals. What's going on, man? There's a note next to the skeleton over here. When all the crystals are cleansed, the gates will open. The device can cleanse them with the right energy. Awesome. Okay, so when you hit it from one side, it spits out the correlating attack from the other side. Attack, cleanse, kick, cleanse, push, shoot, and cleanse. We won, I think. Ooh, we unlocked a new skeleton with a note. My favorite. Lizards on the mountain. Do not trust the king. The altar is a lie. I feel like they could have probably fit a few more sentences here. I'm telling Phileas about the note I found and how it essentially means nothing to me. Phileas is now trying to expose the treachery of a former king. We're gonna have to retrace its route. And by we, I mean you. Yeah, I had a feeling that would be the case. Nearly two decades of me doing everything for everyone. I, I, I know what's going on here, man. I'm gonna fill Lord Shazian in on the situation. He said I can have permission to do research on Mount Quidamortem as long as I tell him about anything I find first. So we're gonna head there and start investigating. <laughs> Yeah, so I just did a whole cinematic thing at Mount Karulm, thinking it was Quidamortem. My head seemed to mix those two up. Uh, ruining my account once more. But the thing is, it's funny, and it's only funny. If you think you could do this account better than me, then why don't you restart it? Why don't you restart this account? I'd like to see you try. You'd mess up the mountains too. You, there's no way you don't forget which one is which. It's impossible. It would have been a lot easier if the dude said, go to Chambers of Zarek. I would have immediately known. I, I don't just study RuneScape geography, dude. I didn't expect to get tested in the middle of a quest like that. Fucking curveballs left and right. Made it up the mountain, gonna talk to Historian Duffy. These guys have been researching the lizard guys around here and believe they're not natural, but created by Zarek or his followers. The note I showed them suggests the lizards may have existed pre-Zarek, and that he wasn't the creator of these things, so I'm really spicing shit up around here. Also, I'm talking to this mountain guide real quick so he can insta-walk me through the path to get here. I know most of you were hoping I'd forget to talk to this guy, but I've already done that twice on different accounts. I've played this game many of times. There's a crevice over here that I'm gonna dive into, hoping something fun happens. Cool. Just mind that boulder's so good it traveled to a different dimension. Holy shit, it's a dinosaur! Whatever will I do? I'm gonna give him one of these. No more dinosaur. Yeah, this looks like a really cool altar room, and there's a mysterious voice. Ricard, turn away, don't do this. Hmm, I wonder what that was about. Just such a casual, no fucks given response to a scary ghost lady in a scary altar room just interrupting whatever I was doing. <laughs> My guy's just so numb to everything at this point, it's almost depressing. Just told Duffy I took care of the boulders and a lizard guy that I found. So, uh, we're gonna go take a look together. Okay, they're gonna go take a look together instantly, and I will be manually walking there because I'm not good enough for a teleport back to the place I just discovered. Duffy's saying this cave is where the lizardman came from, and it predates Zarek, so King Shazian might be the sketchball we think he is. King Shazian was resurrected by his followers and took on the name Zarek because it sounded cool. It's literally one letter away from Eric. Not that there's anything wrong with that name, but I mean, this evil leader really thought he was onto something by putting an X that's pronounced with a Z in front of Eric. Talking to Nosy, they're saying the Dark Altar was the key to Zarek's power. Once he was defeated, he came here to Quidamortem and built the chambers of Zarek below the mountain. And this altar is giving off the same power as the Dark Altar, so it's how he survived down here. And the altar is still giving out power, so now we're wondering, what if Zarek is still here? And what if it's been Duffy this whole time? I'm watching that guy. Going back to Lord Shazian to let him know his ancestors are probably evil, demented dictators. Just told him all about what I just saw, and he's wanting more proof that his ancestor was indeed an asshole. As if it matters anyway. Honestly, so what if he was? You really think there's a family tree out there that's just perfect? Didn't have one singular person responsible for evil shit at any point in time? There's a reason that we're here today. Our ancestors won wars and pillaged. <laughs> so we could be here and not be shitty, Lord. Lord Shazian, just accept that. I must sound like a crazy person to him right now, but I'm just talking a lot of sense into him. Okay, he wants to see Phileas since he'd started this whole thing, so I'm gonna go get him. Wait a minute, what is this? Phileas trashed his own room and broke all his things and then left? Why would he do this? You might be thinking, no, he got robbed and someone trashed it. Oh really? Then, uh, why is his bed still made? You think this is where the intruders draw the line? Just leaving his bed perfectly intact? No, he doesn't want to make it tonight. He's fine. He's just being dramatic, making a scene out of this. I just told Lord Shazian and he's gonna take it from here. And all the research we did can't link King Shazian to the discoveries, so this was all basically for nothing. Was complete. Actually, I take that back. We've got 8,000 coins. This was time well spent. Every quest should reward me with this or more.
Myarchy prevail, bitches. We're going back to Vampire Land. May 24th, 2018. Quest 138, A Taste of Hope. It's actually been 12 years since we've helped our Myarchy friends out, and I'm on my way to Verse and Haza to reunite with the dudes who may or may not still be stuck in a basement hiding somewhere. This quest released about two weeks before the Theater of Blood came out, so this was kind of like a teaser for the new raid since it actually plays a part in the storyline. Talking to this guy, Garth. It appears he is made from paper, maybe. I don't know, something is wrong, but it's fine. Try not to stare so much. He's telling me the tale of Seraphina. We're currently outside the Theater of Blood, and every day citizens of Meyerditch head down here and come to try out the challenge inside. Lady Verzik runs it, and says that anyone who survives the Theater of Blood will be free from vampire blood tithes. Out of the thousands who have tried, a girl named Seraphina is the only one who's ever survived till the end. So she was freed and basically became a symbol of hope for everyone in Meyerditch. And, uh, it's vampire cutscene time, I think. Those are the bad guys. There they go, off to... In there. Looks like we're gonna go find our old Myarchy pals and tell them about this crazy thing we just saw. You want a word with me? You sure you just want one word? Because I can give you all the words you want. Just tell me how many words you want. I'll give, you, I'll give all of them to you. Bite or mines? God damn, why not both? Bite me in the mines. I don't care. But I guess I do have to go to the mines. Oh no, she looks sad. Wait, you can bite. Bite. Bite me. Please, God, bite. Damn it. I miss her. All right, now to try and remember how to get to that place. And by remember, I mean look at a map. Oh my god, look, I miraculously found it somehow. Hey, it's Saphalon and friends. What's up, everybody? Did you remember me? Probably not. It's been a while. <laughs> Sorry. I just told him I saw Vance from Claws and Rannis Draken stroll into the theater together, and he wants me to investigate it somehow. So, you know, back we go. I guess King Rold has some mercenaries chilling out over here. Looks like he hired the cheapest ones he could find, since this mage has full ancestral and, and steel boots. I'm smelling a few bonds in their pockets. They told me I should sneak up on the castle and peek through a window. So that's uh, the big plan for today. I'm paying this guy 1k to distract the banker so they don't notice me climbing up on the walls. He is literally putting his life in danger for me for one eighth of my last quest reward. What would this guy do for 5k? Maybe 5k would have bought me a distraction facing the opposite way. He literally screamed and they looked over here. I just ran all the way around. I'm gonna stick my head through this window and breathe heavily while I listen in. Uh oh, look who it is. Lady Verzik. She's looking mighty hungry, baby. I guess this disgusting, slithery fuck over here can track an enemy once it gets a taste of its blood, and their plan is to try and get the Myrkis' blood so they can track them down before we can discover their weaknesses. I'm gonna run back. He wants me to check in with this other guy about Haim Alchemy or something. I guess I found a book about it 12 years ago, and he's been researching it ever since. He's saying Haim Alchemy is modifying blood magically and scientifically to harness power. He thinks the vampires are using some of that. Our main goal is basically to find the vampires' weakness that that Seraphina discovered, so we could take these vampire dudes out for real. We're gonna go take a look into Seraphina's old house to see if we can find anything about their weaknesses. All right, we just got to the house. Let's see if there's anything funny laying around. Saphalon's saying he doesn't like Seraphina, real or not, because she becomes a false symbol of hope that's driven countless people to the theater in hopes of freedom. See, the part I don't understand about this whole thing is why would the vampires want people to go to the theater and just die? Because if they die, that's one less person to get blood from, and their whole thing right now is that there's a shortage of blood. I don't know. Maybe they're using that weird blood magic to multiply blood somehow, but I don't know. It just doesn't add up right now. I maybe I'm missing things. Anyways, there's a locked door in here, and if there is a door, I have to open it. That's my thing. Oh, mysterious meat. Good. Oh, and a mysterious herb. This is just like the old RuneScape days when every herb was mysterious before you cleaned them. The door says, blood is the price of victory. That's awesome, door. Good for you. I'm gonna make a weird potion out of this stuff, assuming blood comes from this piece of meat. Good news, everyone. It didn't work. I started updating seven and before I even finished explaining, he took a vial and cut himself open and put his blood in the vial. This dude is nuts. All right, I'm adding this special secret ingredient this time. <laughs> Hey, it worked. Oh, cool. The note's written in vampire language, so we gotta take it back to that one guy that barely knows what the language is so he can try and translate it. It's walking time. The Myrkey are all packed up and ready to leave. And we just gave the translator that note and he's at a loss because the note means nothing apparently. Seraphina might not have been the one to write it. What was it that Verzik said about the creature Vanstrom is using? That it can track anyone if it has a taste of their blood. And when we were at Seraphina's home, we used our blood to open that door. No, we used your blood. You sliced yourself open in front of me. You're the target target here, guy. I just have to not be next to you and I'm fine. Uh-oh, here it comes. That is disgusting. Oh, that guy's so lucky. I was about to one-tick the report button. Oh my god, it just hit a 68. I think I hate that. Oh god, he just knocked Flagian out in like a permanent forever way. Saphalon's doing some weird shit right now. He's 
he just did a weird power. Oh, he weakened it, I guess. God, this thing really is an abomination. I said this like three years ago, but this game would seriously be a horror game. If it was in first person, I would not want to be staring at this thing while I fight it. Okay, I got it. These guys are going to old man Ral's house, so I'm going to meet them there. She can have a bite, not you. Fuck off. I want her to get the bite. She deserves it. She's... Hungry, probably. It's a lunch break. Found the new hideout. Cephalon really wants to leave, and my guy is just really adamant on keeping everyone in the danger zone. They'll think we all died in the attack. Oh, yeah, when their creature doesn't come back to them? That's exactly the conclusion they'll come to. Good thinking, me. So the Seraphina story probably is a myth, but Flagian managed to translate some of the book and found that I can make a flail that's capable of actually killing vampires. So I gotta go get the rod of Avandus back from Velioff and make this thing. Oh, there he is. What's going on, Velioff? Stash looking great as always. And we made the flail. What if we did all of that just to have a good weapon to use against Count Drainer in the Vampire Slayer quest? It's not a requirement for the storyline, so you could totally be an idiot and do that. I'm just saying. Okay, so Rannis Draken's about to make some speech outside the theater, and I'm gonna barge through like a badass with this giant fucking flail and kill him in front of everyone. Myrkey prevail. That's right. God, I don't have time for this. Hey, look over there. What? <laughs> yeah, I'm smarter than most things. All right, we're here. Let's do this. Oh, he's telling everyone they destroyed the Myrarchy. I still don't know how he figures that. His pet is, is missing. It never came back to him after he went to hunt us. As good as all of that sounds, I do have just a few issues with it. You claim the Myrarchy are dead, but I'm here to prove otherwise. God, I'm so cool. For too long, you have lorded yourself over these people. Today, that comes to an end. Today, you die. All right, I have no clue if this fight is hard. I'm just gonna hit him and see what happens. Ow. Oh, the abomination was a human once. Oh, you want me to feel bad about that? Man, I've killed a lot of those. Oh no, he's sending his hot vampire assistants after me. Oh god, no! Oh man, oh wow, I hope they don't use their high heels on me. That would be my least favorite thing ever that they would do right now. Did you see the new by release He sexually objectified vampires for 25 minutes. I feel like there's some mechanics I'm not paying attention to. I don't think I should be tanking this much damage. I just kind of wanted to see if I could AFK this fight. I don't know. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, I'm out of food now. I'm gonna leave. I'm guessing I need to start moving out of the way of things. So let's try this again. Speech never happened. Okay, that charge up thing he's doing right now hurts. I'm gonna run from that. Yeah, that worked. Okay, he's throwing shit at me while the hot secretaries are on me. I'm guessing I can dodge those two. Yeah. Oh, and it hurts them. Cool. Oh, he just revealed that the abomination was Serafina's brother that she was trying to save by completing the theater. Well, that's kind of fucked up, I think. He's just praising Serafina to me right now in the middle of this fight. He's a fucking weirdo. Hey, follow me for a second. Oops. He's saying stuff about Serafina right now. Not really sure what he's saying, but it sounds like he knows what happened to her. And it doesn't sound good. Yeah, he's just using melee now. Safe to say, moving out of the way of attacks is a strategy I should probably try in all these newer quests. It seems to be a trend. Very revolutionary mechanic they fit into most content nowadays. Sorry, Draken, but I'm Team Jacob. It's probably just the worst thing to hear right before you die. Oh no. So I guess this is the part where I say something. My guy actually wrote his speech in his hand before this, so he's good to go. For hundreds of years, people of Mauritania have suffered under Lord Draken and his vampires. For too long, they, they filled you with the false up. hope. The there is no oh, freedom in the theater. Together, we will end the tyranny of the Draken family. Fuck somebody, I somebody will stab him. Give me five. Five tail, stab him. Together, we will bring hope to all of Mauritania. Shut up! There is none! Okay, um, Myrarchy prevail. prevail. I think I nailed it. Kale wants me to go back to the hideout, so I guess let's go there. Cephalon is very proud of me. I've done great work today. He didn't say it, but I'm sure he's thinking it. But he's gonna start planning our next moves, because we'll probably have more support after my speech since it was so good. And he said I've earned a break, apparently. So there's quest complete, and uh, I'm going on a lunch break.